Hi guys, I'm Exactcast and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. We are playing the Osterblan City of Exact Bay. In the last episode we started laying out the Grove, this residential low density area, a suburb. And in between episodes I kind of cleaned things up a little bit, I laid out a little bit more and, and so on. So I, uh, I think we just did this area. So I've done a little bit uh, uh, along here, I've kind of uh, defined the park. Um, quite nicely with some fences and so on and I've added a bit of a walkway in between and you know what now that I look at it it's probably a good idea for us to add uh, a piece of fence uh, right over there as well um, and then uh, then I've put a road in here and so we'll have some houses and so on so it's a nice little suburban area over here I've cleaned up some of this um, I've added an extra road ramp over here to allow a little bit more interaction at this uh, with this road uh, what I've also done is I've uh, this side of the park I've uh, laid out a nice little meandering route with some areas for some roads um, so predominantly it's this meandering piece of road and then I did a little few extra pieces just so that we fill up the open areas a little bit and over here to this side what I've done is I've created a right in right out kind of arrangement over here on this main road to get to kind of feed this primary collector over here and I've filled in the uh, areas around it with some air, some some spots for um, for more residential basically and we'll expand the area a little bit what I'm going to do in this episode I'm gonna fill it out a little bit more including a fair bit of um, a fair bit of commercial right on the edge over here so that is kind of what I'm gonna do just to spike that commercial demand a little bit I'm gonna kind of feed this area on the um, on this service road with commercial not high density though uh, I'm not gonna go high density over here I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna do that um, the rest of this I believe should just all go to residential so let's uh, get the movements going As you can see immediately residential is spiking um, and we'll see how this goes for us this uh, should not be an intersection, right? This should not be signalized, right? Okay, let's uh, let's quickly fix that because I think this is causing a fair bit of frustration. This uh, and that should feed into these ones. Okay, fine. So we won't have anything else over here and we're definitely going to switch off that. So it's just going to keep going straight away. There we go. Perfect, so that should just keep moving uh, and this is the first uh, intersection signal over here. Perfect, so all of this should keep moving. Um, are we seeing a little bit more demand? No, so let's speed things up just a tad so we do that. Uh, I'm pretty keen for us to do um, for us to do a bit of a rail, railway station or something to that effect, suburban rail or something. Uh, could we run it straight up here? Potentially. Potentially we could run it straight up here. Mm, I'm not too sure where we'll go with that right now. So maybe I'll leave, let it be for now while we, um, while we get all of this going. Oh, what I'll also do is I'll just pop a few things into the park. Just so we um, can see about getting, um, getting our park rating up a little bit. So that, that one over there. Uh, we'll grab the info booth. Oh, let's just switch this off. We'll grab the info booth over here. I'm going to go with another info booth over there. We'll do some of these things kind of right over there. Um, not None of those. Shall we do the, um, yeah, yeah, let's do the, uh, the trampolines over here. A bit of a playground. Uh, maybe right over there somewhere. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, probably need a restroom. We'll go with one over here and maybe like one over there. So that's uh, that's pretty decent in terms of park stuff. What I thought I'd do is I'll also start maybe zoning this area over here. So let's get started on zoning some of this. 
yeah that's that's pretty good i'm not going to zone right on there what i will do however is do that zone a little chunk over here and then what we'll do is we'll fill out this entire area right here uh, and maybe just maybe we'll start off just that side okay let's do that there we go so we'll see see if we get some stuff popping in over on this side okay what i wanted to do is pop around this side and then have a bit of a look at how we're gonna get the um the, get the airport in here so if we go over there we have a look um what do i have in terms of airport i've got the basic international airport um there's the cargo hub there's some blimps and jokes international airport that is pretty tiny actually anything else airport uh, cargo airport and then a cargo airport hub which i believe includes rail so what we're going to do is i'm just going to try and build this one so the issue however is we have um we have the mountains over here so i believe if we wanted to we should probably kind of squeeze it in this way alternatively yeah I, I believe we need to squeeze it in this way so let's uh switch that off we're going to switch this on and we will be doing There's a little setback over here so that we can actually get it to work uh that piece of road is going to run that way i believe we're going to squeeze it in like so so there we go that is going to be the international airport there's a fair bit of a run down there that side can also work for us i believe nice if i go and look at this area we're smack bam in the middle of the airport and that's the road katy jones street at the airport over there is this area filling in a bit more it is it is starting to fill in nice but we probably need a fair bit more commercial stuff there's a lot of cars coming in this way so i am starting to like that though we've put a bit of commercial on that road there as well nice it's looking pretty good we are starting to see some people make use of this to get onto this road so i i'm, I'm happy i did i made that move right there and we're getting a fair bit of guys off of the off of the highway feeding into this area so all 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 in all really quite good these guys are struggling with power so let me quickly grab um just that basic little power supply piece over there and what we'll do is we will um, squeeze it in over there and everything should now um, have power for the most part at least um i did do a little little nice little roundabout here with a statue in the park so that's all pretty cool all of this is filling in quite nicely now so that's cool as well nice lots of stuff happening over here lots of stuff okay with the airport now what i'm thinking and what we should be doing and let's slow down things i'm gonna keep it going though hmm. okay so if that that in in fact is a one-way arrangement so let's start by thinking about the rail the rail is the first thing that we are going to need and i believe this airport has um, a metro station but it does not have a rail line okay so let's get out of there and let's see what we can do in terms of rail so if we just go standard rail what kind of a station could we grab over here So something like this, but or something like this. That's just like a bridge, right there. No, so that's not what we're gonna do. Um, we've got this. I think this is the one for us. This one right here is the one for us at the rail um and what we're gonna do is we're going to squeeze it in 
something like this okay okay so there we go we've got some rail going on over there um, we can actually put a road underneath it that is cool that is quite cool so what I'm tempted to do is actually just start tying in the road underneath it what kind of a road do we have that can run underneath this let's just have a quick look if we go uh, pretty basic to we can in fact run that right that's gonna work Okay, so there we go immediately have some stuff going on over there I believe this area is going to be you ooh the one thing that I uh, that I need to take into account if I do this though is that is that how are we gonna, <laughs> we need to run the rail on top of this and I believe do we have something that can run the rail on top of this not that though I want the rail so if I go for rail I can, I can in fact run the rail on top of this space already occupied. So I can in fact run the rail on top of that and maybe that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to run the rail on top of it. So let me just continue this road a little bit. Uh, this is the basic one, yeah. So we'll do a bit of that. Um, maybe not quite though maybe we'll we'll draw it back a little and then we'll start uh, twisting it so if I do if we do a little something say like that not sure if that's the greatest way of doing it, but let's uh, let's do that. Let's get ourselves a little bit of a one-way road to tie in here. Yeah, and it's a little close actually. Okay, yeah, that is a little on the close side. If we do that and we uh, turn this guy around yeah I think it's not too bad I think we can actually make use of it the question though is maybe I should pull all of this back a little and we try that all again um, by actually starting to twist it a little quicker yeah that's probably better okay so we'll do that now what I'll do is let's get ourselves the um, say a little something like that and then we'll just go with the normal the normal one is this the one nope that's the one We'll just do that and then what we'll do is we'll drop it, all right? And there we go. So now what we can do is we can run it out a little bit and we can start tying it in over on that side and um, ooh, that is high. Why is this so high? Is there a reason this thing is so high? That's just crazy. Why is that so high? Nice. I like it. It's looking pretty good over there. So we will immediately have some action. Uh, we could, and I'm also very tempted to do a bit of a a bit of a, a bit of a parking area over here so that would be cool as well so let's uh, let's get ourselves that get that in place that was all the way over here so how much can we actually squeeze in here 
um, and we need to do um, it a little bit like so. So if we do uh, say like that, that gets us a fair amount of parking. And the whole question around it is would be is if we can, can we actually we should just extend it even more. So we tie them in into the corners over there. So if we do that, uh, yeah, that's not quite what I had in mind. That's a little bit too extreme. Let's try it again. We'll tie it in like so and we'll see about what we do with that. Okay, and now if we just grab ourselves a bit of roadway like so and like so and what we'll do here is we will tie it in from that side over there and from that side over there that does not look good does it that does not look good oh that's not quite what i had in mind either let's try this one more time so if we say we're gonna run it straight line from there to, to there and we try it can we um, can we in fact tie it in now see that does not actually work it does not actually allow us to tie that in so I'm not sure unless unless what we do is we take it in the middle here and we do something like that but that also is not be efficient even by a long shot. So that's about the parking that I believe we're going to have over here. I think let's just do that as parking. Uh, and that actually allows you to recirculate. And over here, what do we do over here? Some parks, some some trees and niceties, maybe. Maybe some maybe some trees and niceties like that. Okay, what I'll do then is I will just grab. I will just grab us the and let's just switch off the snapping over here and what we'll do is we're gonna just grab ourselves this guy run it straight through there nice there we go so now we can immediately have some stuff going on over there um, and the rest will just kind of walk around over here perfect so that's pretty cool. So we've got some parking going on straight away. Let's see about getting ourselves um, this going on. Hopefully it's nice and flat and we don't have to worry too much about all of this. So let's get ourselves all of this lined up. Come on. And like so, perfect. So now if I say M, and what I want to select is this, and actually I want to kind of drag select it. Yeah, and what we'll do is we'll just do that. So hopefully we can um, see about getting this parking sorted out lot more quicker than I was expecting and I believe we can it's not doing too badly Ooh, you need to do a bit of an overlap over here uh, but I believe that's fine there we go parking parking at the airport as well as the rail station which is good we can almost immediately start tying that in let us grab it uh where's our little rail piece so what i'm keen on doing is getting ourselves a, oh and let's get the snapping back on okay so if we say we're gonna run that piece like so okay so we'll tie that in there Okay, and on this side, oops, 
we'll uh, do a little bit like this and what we'll do is we'll just kind of tie that in over there we'll get this thing like so what we'll do is we'll try our best well let's uh how well how far do you have to to run that let's pull that back a little pull that back a little that should be pretty good though so let's see about doing something like that and doing something like that and that actually looks quite good for us nice so there we go the rail is immediately switched on over there what i'm now quite interested in understanding is how we can what we're going to do with this and i'm almost tempted to run this across this way and tie it in with something over there and then this one will turn and and see about tying in although we could also run it straight through that way and then what we could do is we could run um a kind of almost directly up here some freeway connections yeah will that work or how should we how should we do it Yeah, I'm not too sure what we should be doing here with the freeway stuff. Let's quickly go back and see how this is going. This area is going. Has it started filling in? It has indeed started filling in. That's pretty good, actually. That area is quite heavily parked over there straight away. So let's um, let's see about getting some more stuff going on over here. All the way up there. That's pretty good. Let's run. Let's run one of these nice so that's okay perfect that'll be fine at the same time i'm also quite tempted for us to start running uh, a little bit more on this side are we gonna do some stuff right over here well let's let's run this one yeah let's just do that let's just do let's just run that entire one there We'll run this entire one over here. So we'll start seeing a little bit more stuff popping in like so. Yeah, more residential. Out of power? Hang on. Let's have a quick look. So power availability is pretty bad. So where is our power coming from? Uh, it's over here. We've got these two guys. This is what's our power generation looking like? Um, anything else? So how, how bad is this? This is 240... 80 that gets a fair bit 160 so that is really about as as good as it gets apart from maybe getting the nuclear power plant up and running I'm kind of tempted to to do that the nuclear power plant is quite tiny actually you would never you would never see a nuclear power plant in a, in a developed area like this never never in your life the nuclear power plant will be out here in the sticks by itself um, yeah so we need to find ourselves some room for that at a later stage but at the moment what we need to do is potentially grab another one of these guys and maybe just slot it in somewhere can't actually squeeze anything like that in there what we could potentially do is squeeze one of these ones uh, and how much is that going to give us about 80 well let's squeeze one of them in for now like so that's going to give us a bit of power for now to kind of just just get over what we've got going on right now nice so that's all that power the other thing that i'm thinking is we need to give ourselves a little bit more commercial i'm kind of wondering about this little area over here started off uh, started off over here and like so and then that's a little bit of commercial and then what's going on got a bit of a water problem so let's just do that so we get that sorted out so this area will fill in with a little bit more commercial over here and then what I'll do is I'll get us to um, uh, 
to just kind of do that straight around it over there. Okay, so we'll see a little bit of residential growth around, a little bit of commercial growth over here. Okay, good stuff. Let's get back to what we're planning over here. Okay, I believe in order to for us to do this, I'm quite keen for us to do um, this on the inbound. Give me that straight. And we're going to, oh, yeah, let's do that. So let's say, actually, let's start it off with one of these guys. We'll do something like that. And what we'll do is we'll do something like this. And then we're going to. And now, so the question over here we have is. Uh, if I go and I'll grab this one, we're probably going to need, and let's get rid of that. Ah, oh, again, we'll have to go with this to start with. How are we going to get this even just a little bit closer? Is that about right? I think we've started off uh, not that close to it. So if we do a little something like that, okay. And what I'm tempted to do is this one doesn't need to, this one just comes over the top on this way. So let's get um, ourselves this upgraded. Okay, and we'll... So what we're going to need to do is we're going to... Hmm, that is quite interesting. So I'm tempted to run the one on the inside and the one on the outside. So let's claw that back a little bit. I'm going to go with this one. And what we'll do is we will do one, two, one, two, uh, actually. Oh yeah, I like that. Ooh, and that's pretty close. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to pull that back a little. Good stuff. And now what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, let's, let's do that one more time. So we're going up and we're going to turn it. little something like that and it's not quite what I had in mind but what we'll do is we'll drop down uh, one two like that and then like that and all we need to do is gonna we're gonna use move it to kind of straighten that out come on good about the segment piece just just grab that piece here we go that is the one though and I don't quite get why that's not quite high enough we're gonna have a look at that straight away so then the other one will go around this one what we'll do is we I'm just gonna pull that back over there and we'll do a very similar thing from this side and we're gonna grab this guy and we're gonna say you're gonna go up one two And one, two. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get you to. Gonna get you to do something like that though instead. And what I'll do now, I'm actually just gonna, let me just get rid of that for now. And now what we'll do is we will 
take a straight line and say one, two, like this, and one, two, uh, like that. Perfect. Actually, it actually works quite well. All I need to do is see about how exactly we're going to tie these in, and I'll pull this out a little bit more. So that works quite well. Nice. I think that is pretty cool, actually. So what we'll do is we'll run a, a, a one in here and one out of that way, and we don't actually need to go too crazy with uh, with service roads. So yeah, we I had a little bit much going on there. Cool, that's pretty good. And actually this one doesn't need to do too crazy a thing. All I need to do is now with that in mind, let's uh, let's try and get that sorted out a little bit more. There we go. Nice. So now you can get straight off, go to the airport. Um, over here, though, can we get this to... Can we get this one to do... Something a little bit more like that. Like so. Uh, maybe that's a little extreme. Maybe if we do a little bit more like that, that's going to work much better. And maybe if we do a little bit more like that, it's going to be a little bit better for us. So that's starting to look like our airport interchange. Now the question over here on this side is how are we going to tie the rest of this in? And the answer is I'm not too sure just yet. And we will probably come back in the next episode to keep doing this. So now we've got this road and we can actually run it um, along this way. Maybe even that one over there. Maybe we can We'll see about how we tie that into more of a network. But at least now, we've got the ability for people to get to the airport. We don't have power at the airport, or water for that matter. And we probably need some, uh, some, some, some train lines going there as well. But the area is growing quite nicely. I am quite tempted for us to do some more, uh, some more of this. So what I'll do is I will um, and over here, what we need to do is probably get a bit of a road, uh, a bit of a piece going through there. So let's just do some stuff like this, and we'll run it like that. So we'll get some stuff going on here. Um, maybe what we do is just run it through there, and like so. So there's a little bit of stuff where we can actually get some pedestrian crossing through there. Just close off that one so it's not too awkward there. Same thing over that. That's pretty good. So we'll get some more going on right over here. A little bit more commercial. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there. And what we'll do is we'll come back. And then the next episode, we will see about filling this out even more. Uh, just before I do, though, before I leave you, let's just have a look. So our elementary school capacity, our highway capacity, our high school capacity is not great. So, um, and our elementary school capacity, potentially I need, uh, I need a couple of more schools, maybe somewhere over here. So, let's go standard high school, kind of right over there, and we'll do a bit of a, what other kind of elementary school do we have, public library, any other elementary schools that we can make use of? This one, the community school. So we'll do um, a couple of schools over here as well. 
That's pretty good. So now that should help us out on this side of things. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So that'll help us out a little bit. Okay, so the airport is... I don't believe it's working just yet. But there are... We have tied it in. So I just don't know what I should be doing with this. But anyway, we can bring this one back and, and, and twist it around over here. But yeah, we, we'll need to get ourselves a bit of a commercial center going on in the center over here. Because we also have the train train here that'll be good for us to do that spur over there and we can, can run it this way okay thank you so much for watching in the next episode we'll continue the uh, exact bay international airport area um potentially potentially get it tied in to the uh, to the rest of the road network a little bit better and so on but thank you so much for watching if you've liked it hit that like button and i will see you next time bye bye